And then a zero at the end. And then it's like, you move the keyboard, right? So like, maybe today was the day we moved the keyboard. Oh, yeah. Hi, my name is Sam Can, and I'm the lead organizer of the Plex Arts Festival. Uh, Plex started last year uh, by myself and a group of fellow artists in Burlington, um, and really it uh, stems from our desire to create more space for experimental and contemporary art in Burlington and in Vermont, Vermont uh, at large. Um, yeah, it originated in an uh, arts festival I started in college with some friends called Nocturne, um, and built out into the real wor real world to be to be plex can you tell us about this year's festival yeah this year we have over a hundred projects um of all different creative disciplines so music performance dance circus visual art sculpture installations um we've got i think one or two writing projects poetry piece um and we're at the same locations as last year plus some so we're at inside junk teaks behind junk teaks in the tank recording studio in the rats mission parking lot and now we're cl we're closing down archibald street for the first time this year um between north Winooski ave and hyde street and we're crossing over the street to also have performances in visual art at despacito um so similar to last year in a lot of ways um in terms of the kind of art and the philosophy behind plex but bigger in terms of how many projects and locations and hopefully bigger also in terms of like um the space in the hearts of the community last year was the first year and i think um having seen the festival once and because it was such a warm and like exciting space for artists and for folks in the community um, I, it feels like people are hopefully like returning to a space that they know now as opposed to taking a chance on a new event um, yeah Plex is at its core anti-capitalist pro-community and has a relatively low barrier to entry um, and is specifically for artists who might not have other spaces to perform or to present their work elsewhere in Burlington or in Vermont. So um, it's a totally grassroots DIY festival um, with basically no money. Um, and we're really proud of that fact. We, we, we think that um, art shouldn't be beholden to capitalism and we want to create a space where artists can truly experiment um with all of their like wacky most exciting ideas um and i think because of that plex often is a space where artists who have experience in one form of art try something new we have musicians doing visual art we have um dancers doing film um and it's really an open space for people to try, like experienced artists and emerging artists to try that project that, that maybe wouldn't fit somewhere else. Can you talk about who and what inspires you as far as this project? Are there artists, organizers, mm. or pieces of art, art festivals that this group or you in particular are drawing inspiration from? That's such a good question, Bobby. <laughs> um, I have a lot of answers to that. Um, well, so Plex is based on Nocturne at Middlebury College, and Nocturne at Middlebury College is based on this thing called Nuit Blanche that happens in Montreal that I've actually never been to. But it's like a whole night um, arts festival. Um, so that technically is the s seed. Um, but in terms of like my like emotional passion seed for Plex, um, there's this m film festival that just happened in New York City called Prismatic Ground um, that is 
experimental, very small, um, or not small, sorry, just experimental work that doesn't normally get seen, doesn't normally get played at other cinemas. And I recently saw the organizer posted on social media saying like I have no money (laughs) like I actually need a job um and from the outside that festival is like one of the most accomplished cool like organizing curatorial efforts that like anyone is doing and there was something that felt very inspiring I'm also tragic but also inspiring about that particular festival because it is so smart and has such bold and interesting programming and clearly isn't um doesn't have a ton of corporate sponsors or clearly there's not a lot of money coming in so I think um I'm inspired by people who are doing work because they care so much about the work even if it isn't necessarily sustainable or like paying their rent um so I think of that festival as an example um I'm also inspired by a lot of like, and I'm only realizing this now, but like, um, like large scale citywide art projects, like, um, oh, what are their names? They did the like Central Park Pillars, um, it's this du- artist duo whose names I'm forgetting right now, but like, th- like transforming spaces, artists whose, whose work is about, um, changing the whole landscape of a city um and reimagining and creating magic in in ordinary city spaces um and creating spaces for for communities to meet um yeah so those are some of my inspirations how does money work in flex do artists get paid are you getting paid yeah so it's essentially a volunteer effort last year we got four hundred dollars from the ward two three npa and that was enough of a seal of approval and a and a, a seed to pay spaces basically and then we saved a little bit of ticket money from last year and all the other ticket money was split evenly among artists and organizers um so this year we have that money we got we had left over from last year that we're using for spaces um that we're using for materials that we're using to buy t-shirts and then again we're charging for tickets but there's a zero dollar option and two of our spaces are free um and again we'll save some money for next year but the vast majority will be split between artists and organizers and because there are like around 150 artists and about 12 organizers um the amount anyone gets is is mostly symbolic of art being labor and organizing being labor but it's definitely doesn't um like fully recognize or sufficiently recognize like the hours and hours and months of work that everyone is putting into the festival Uh, it's definitely the festival's a labor of love for sure Yeah, for sure. Um, Plex really runs the gamut. There are like several really established Vermont artists like Renee Greenlee, who does these gorgeous silk cyanotype panels. Um, Her work was at the Frame and at the Fletcher Free Library recently. And I am really excited to see her newest iteration. there's Freeway Clyde, this like incredible seven piece um, band. And then there are several artists who are trying mediums for the first time. Um, hi. <laughs> I can, can I, should I undo it? There's a piece called Bog Woman by the artist Aiden Lodge, who grew up in Vermont but lives in Baltimore, and they came to Plex last year and are participating as an artist this year. It's called, um, their piece is called Bog Woman. It's about trans ecologies. It's a metal structure coming out of peat moss that has uh, sound art in it that sounds like a bog. Um, 
we're really, really excited to see that project come to life. Um, there's a huge interactive jellyfish that Katie Gorson and Betsy McGavis are going to install inside Junktique's um, that folks are going to be able to go inside. And then there's several artists who are trying artistic disciplines, new artistic disciplines for the first time. So Sea Green is a, a wonderful dance artist who is making a... Um, doing a play reading in the form of an Instagram apology video. I'm excited to see that one. Pia Zapata is a um, visual artist who is playing a musical set and I've never seen her um, singing and songwriting before. So those are a couple of projects that I'm really psyched about this year. We're in the We're in the chaos stage always in the chaos stage <laughs> um at this point so we're a week and a half out from the festival Can you say just the date of yeah the plex arts festival is may 25th from 5 p.m to 12 30 a.m in the old north end of burlington and we are a week and a half out at this point so we're rushing to get the program released we want to let everybody know all the art projects that are going to be at the festival and what times they're going to happen at and what locations they're going to happen at and that's a huge puzzle because there are 100 projects and they're each project has its own unique um needs set up time um and so hopefully this evening we'll solidify all of the details of the program and then we're also working on publicity getting the word out making sure people know that perplex is happening and then the big thing also tonight is um the rain plan um a lot of our locations are outdoors um and we want to make sure that if it rains artists are still able to share their work with the community plex is a radical space for art making and a celebration of the community um and in my brain and in my heart those two things are beautifully merged in this one evening um and plex is truly um we're able to be idealistic and we're able to dream and we're able to experiment because of the volunteer labor and passion and love that goes into this festival and um it's just an incredibly special event so i really hope people come out Okay, so. Oh my god! So here I am pushing alcohol on everyone. Okay. I mean, it's all fairly simple. about today are the program, publicity, rain plan. Are there other things that people have on their mind that they want to have the agenda? Sunday volunteers? Take down space? <coughs> or maybe that's just for me. I might just uh, or I won't have I have limited availability. So. Like you, you and Via too. Mm -hmm. You want to get more volunteers to help on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'd also like to add sign making. Mm -hmm. I don't want to add Bread and Puppet. And Josie was talking earlier about uh, t shirt making day.
Anything else? Um, maybe we start with just like general updates. Obviously, a big update is that we don't have the synagogue, but I think mm -hmm. everyone is updated. Wait, is the synagogue completely out? I think we need to plan on it not being a part of the festival because it seems unlikely that it, it couldn't be part of the festival. Does that mean we won't be able to get power from there as well? I asked him and he was like, if we get, he seemed to say if we, if he gets the certificate of occupancy, then we could use power and we could be in the building. But if he doesn't, then we can do neither. I think is what, if it, the text was a little confusing, but that's what it seemed. I can follow up and, and press it a little bit more. Can we use that it seems like at the moment, no. Yeah. Did you feel like you have enough resources to figure out? I have, yeah, I do have a backup, but it's not as cool. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's fine. It'll be good. I do want to be very clear about, like, my lighting plan for this is extremely ambitious. <laughs> I have one of the things on the agenda is lighting plan. Yeah, it's a lot, but I, I, it, I will, I will do the minimum easily. But the things I'm trying to do are way more involved than I need to make them. So like, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem, power, but it's just uh, if I want, if I want to include all the things that I want to, it'll be difficult to do with less power. But I'm not worried about it. Nobody be worried about. <laughs> I'm not <lighting>. worried. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's worried. Yeah. Sorry. Do you need help? Um, I actually have a lot of help this year. Last year I had no help, <laughs> or at least I went in with no help. Mm -hmm. People helped me anyway, because <laughs> um, I was struggling. But this year I have a lot. I think I think it's going to be okay. It's mostly like securing equipment from people that are like have their own lives. And like people that I'm renting from, that's like, for instance, having a baby that's due on the 25th. Ooh, <laughs> <baby>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like, yeah, I do need to be like. Like some anti baby. Yeah, very. <laughs> on record. <laughs> next, to the, next to the mantle. Anti baby. <laughs> we have the art to prove it. for the heads. Yeah. <laughs> um, which have you been in touch with? Veronica, is she all set to help out? She is all set to help. Is she going to be there on Friday as well? I don't know. I know um, I know that Andrew will be. And I think he's going to be... He's might, I might put him in charge of junk teeks now that... Because Desmond was supposed to do it. I don't know if I ever explained that. We had someone from... They're called like individual. They're like the new projection, basically. And then that fell through... Um, because they have uh, actually the bed thing, the mm -hmm. electronic our competition, mm -hmm. right? Our competition. <laughs> um, oh my god, no, not competition. The Bruce Bruce World. World show. Bruce World was on Instagram today. Like, I'm playing at Plex. Come to Plex. I'm playing <laughs> at this. Come to this. Maybe yeah. the rest of them. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh yes. So the other thing is, I do want to check in. And I'm getting ahead of myself, but whoever is Junk Teeks. Josie. Yes. Um, oh, we're supposed to zoom bell in. There will be a projector, and I'm hoping that Finn is doing what he says he's going to do, which is like putting a billboard above everything, and then I can be on the balcony with a projector. And I have a lot of really weird things planned. Nice. Um, but I just need to make, check in with all of the artists that are playing and make sure that they're okay with the projector. Because if they're not, then I just want to plan for that. Um, mm -hmm. It is really bright and annoying to look at. So if you're not prepared for that, um, it can be kind of intense. So I just want to I just want to like warn everyone. And then if they if they don't want anything like if they don't want like the flashing lights because there is some weird stuff going on, or if they don't want a projector at all, we can just work around that. Cool. There is another person who wants to use the yes. projector. And they have their own. And also, yeah, getting that content to me as soon as possible. Yeah, so I was going to ask, like, are you just going to do one computer? And, like, yeah, I'm running it all through. File? 
Yeah, if I just have one, if I have all the files, I think I'm going to have it all in one, like, show file for um, Resolume, which I don't really know how to use, but I just got it for this. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully that works. Um, it seems really good. Seems like they're really easy. Any other updates? Um, I have the draft cover for the program and backdrop for our timed events. Um, I can send it in the group chat or pass it around now. You want your little flip around just so we can see? Okay. Um, well, I did two iterations, but this is the one that I'm planning on right now, but hoping to feedback. This is just like the front cover. Love it. Um, it's gorgeous. And then this is the back cover. And so mm -hmm. this is like the Despacito building. It's like a high level map. <laughs> like a pretty high level map. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. That's program update. And so, yeah, I guess we'll talk about the schedule tonight. That was awesome. It's one that mm -hmm. it's all set up. Thank you so much for doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. No other updates? Um, it's like an annoying place to start, but I want to talk about publicity because I want to make sure we're really like getting the word out in this last week and a half. Um, so online we talked about Front Porch Forum. I posted on the um, old East End Front Porch Forum. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I don't need to do that. <laughs> um, are there other, who can post on Front Porch Forum this week slash did people post on it last week? I posted online. Cool, amazing. Can anyone in the Old North End post? I can post in the Old North End. Are there two? Oh, sorry. Thanks, Rosie. Yeah. Are there two um, old North End forums? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's central. I don't know what the other one. I think there's three. There are three. I think there's east, west, and central. Oh, is anyone in any of the other mm -hmm. forums? Old North Enders, Elena, Molly, Josie. I'm gonna look. <coughs> <coughs> Wait, did someone post in, did you post, I post in the, in the old oh. east end, which okay. is different from the old north end east. You're in the old north end east? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Which which isn't true together, shit together. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I'd be now. So Molly's in the old north end east, Via is central, and then is anyone in the old north end west? <laughs> I feel like you all are pretty west. I don't know what's more west. Than this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but normally you can um, post to neighboring ones. Yeah. And so I assume that or like I can just can opt to see their neighbor. I can try to post in both of them. Cool. Um, I did Sensei Babington. That's not at you. I don't know what that is. Do you want to post there? What is that? Another Facebook group. Cool. Just like a have all, take all. Cool. I think I'm in a DIY events Facebook group that I can post in. Um, I can post on Lex. Mm -hmm. And I can post in the, um, I don't know if any of you are in the Montpelier, like huge group chat. <laughs> the um what's it called? No homo fomo or something. <clears throat> Any other online channels mm -hmm. people can think of? I can put on the seven days announcements. I think I put it in their uh, in their calendar, is that different? Mm -hmm. Um, I'll post <coughs> in that giant events signal chat. Great. Mm -hmm. The jazz one? No. Okay. It's just events. It's a signal shot. 
Anything else? Anywhere else people have access to? Mm. Tinder shut me down last year. I'm trying to. Hell no. <laughs> so. Does anyone know anyone who works at Hula? Mm. Is it a mm. Mile Southern? Southern. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And she's an artist. Do they have a thing? They have a huge slack room. Okay. Mm. Um. I can ask Maya. Oh, there's some Facebook groups. I don't know how often. I have like a Dance Vermont Facebook group. Okay, and Queer Dance Vermont, Vermont Facebook group. And a different Dance Vermont. Facebook I'm gonna just write you down for Dance Vermont. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who goes on them, but I'll, put, I'll post. Okay. Anyone else? It's pretty decent. I feel like this is the week to like really get it out. So it's oh, like. Announce out your NPA. Anybody have NPA this week? I have NPA this week. Honestly. Okay, well, we're getting into physical. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I know I love it. <laughs> yeah. Our question if we online, I mean, this probably won't happen, but what's our f- occupancy thing? Because should we be cutting? Will tickets cut off if it goes over? Currently, tickets aren't going to cut off. They are. <laughs> aren't. Oh, okay. Because there's no way, even if we have a set occupancy, there's no way of knowing. Like, people aren't signing up for time slots. Right. So there's no real way of knowing. Like, I think if, if, if we sold 800 tickets, we would probably cut it off. Right, because that would be, like, crazy. Yeah. But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I think there. it's really, yeah, like, last year, 435 people-ish. Yeah, I think 200 were online. But like, 230 yeah. were online. So I think we, chances are, if we had to cut something off, we would just have to not sell tickets to the door. So we wouldn't cut it off. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So, 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 so,